New Jersey, the Garden State, is geographically quite small, the fourth smallest in the nation, in fact, but its landmass packs a diverse, powerful punch and a proud population home to nearly 9 million residents. Among them are Giants and Devils, Jets and Jets, Blue Sky, Sky Blue, Red Bulls, and of course, New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy, who resides in the quaint borough of Red Bank in Monmouth County. After you, Governor. Thank you, sir. He says this is the best coffee in town. Absolutely. You're looking for coffee, this is your place. I like my coffee like I like my governor's. Hot. <laughs> the cold brew poured over at Rook Coffee can only be enjoyed throughout their 11 New Jersey locations, where each cup is a work of art. Oh, look at that. Put the banana, banana on the banana side. On there, I guys. love that, Johnny B. They do the state of look New at the state of New Jersey. Thank you so much. I can see now why you love this place so much. New Jersey's the quintessential small town state. It's the best state in America to raise a family. We got 565 communities. The biggest community in the whole state, we got 9 million people, it's 300,000, Newark. No kidding. So it's unlike a Boston or a New yep. York where you've got, you know, one big city that really drives the population. That's not the case here. While being from Massachusetts, you decided to settle here in not just New Jersey, but Red Bank with your family. Yeah. This particular area, the Two Rivers area, is special. The Navasink, which is right ahead of us, and the Shrewsbury, which is behind us. We're only about three or four miles from the Atlantic Ocean. Great quality of life, great schools great restaurants, theater, you name it. My experiences in New Jersey have always been absolutely incredible, including today. It's a state that has a character, a grit, a fight, a determination, a resilience, unlike any other American state. We're Jersey, man. Yeah. Come yeah. on, let's go. There you go. If the independently owned businesses of Broad Street create a familiar movie set, back lot, come to life vibe, film director Kevin Smith and his comedic muse, Jason Mews would agree. Snooty booties. Which is why Red Bank and New Jersey at large play a pivotal part in their collective filmography and why the two have established permanent roots here with their comic book store, Jay and Silent Bob's Secret Stash. I've got to say right now, gentlemen, I feel like I'm living out every comic book nerd's dream being here with the two of you. This is the world's most famous comic book store, we like to say, because, like, think of another one, right? See? Give me a second. Takes too long. What is it about Red Bank and, and New Jersey in general that's so special to you? I love that we grew up here. I love living in LA, but I don't know, like Halloween, you can't just go out your door and walk down the street like when we grew up. It's nice to have this store here, so there's a reason to come back. This is home, this is where I'm from, this is the motherland. Now, is this the actual coat that we're looking at here? That is the actual coat. This coat was in Chasing Amy, this hoodie was in Clerks, the hat was in Clerks. This hat was in Dogma, and that hat was in Mallrats. And then the jewel in the crown here is the quick step. This is the actual sign, right? It's the actual sign, but if you drive 15 minutes, you can go to the actual quick step. <laughs> You're obviously doing something right. Even in the midst of a pandemic, this place seems to be very well received. That's Red Bank, man. You can catch people who are like, I never heard of this. I don't know who you are. I've never seen one of your movies, but now I'm interested. Kevin and Jay love their fans, and that's a big thing. They never forget who put them where they are. Mm -hmm. As a fan, as someone who's seen all his movies, Clerks being one of those coming of age movies, like, it's pretty cool. Featured in Kevin's film, Chasing Amy, Jack's Music Shop has been a staple here in Red Bank since 1969. And because you can't mention New Jersey without getting Bruce Springsteen and Bon Jovi, lucky us, we've got them both. Records, that is. You still see those guys a lot? I see Bruce occasionally. Bon Jovi, the band, and the guy signed this guitar. Bruce signed this to the store. Max Weinberg actually gave us these two. Yeah, that is Max, huh? Yeah, he had an office in town and was getting rid of stuff. So this really is like a hotbed for musicians, isn't it? Yeah. And owner Jack Anderson, as well as store manager Tim Cronin, are fixtures within the shop they've curated throughout the decades. How important is it to you to keep this store open and continue allowing people to buy music the old-fashioned way with vinyl and CDs? Well, I enjoy buying the used stuff. I really get a kick out of it. This is a pretty substantial collection you got here. What do you think it is that has kept this business here sustainable, even now when music is mostly consumed digitally? Well, I mean, there's still enough people who want vinyl and CDs, and with more stores going out of business, the ones that stay pick up all that slack. 
it really is cool. I mean, with the coffee shops, the restaurants, the comic book store, this music store, it really is like a very eclectic area. And I can see why it's not only popular for people to come here and visit, but for residents like yourself to put roots down and not leave. It's what I know. I've got my whole life and fate tied yeah. to this town. Home. It's home. Yeah. I love it.